Hi, I'm Gil and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. I'm kind of excited about this one today. Um, I learned this little trick uh, making some crackers uh, a couple of weeks ago and I was really having trouble finding wraps because we're going to use wraps and make crackers out of them. And unfortunately I have to go to Port Huron into the States to find them. But uh, in Walmart I found these wraps and it's Mission wraps. There's eight inside and they are six net carbs per wrap. So I'm going to show you how to make crackers out of these. They're awesome. They just satisfy me so much especially when I want like cheese and crackers. So um, let's get started and I'll show you how to make them and then I'll tell you another brand that I like. You can't just do this with any kind of wraps because some are really really bad and they don't bake up the way we want them to. So guaranteed this one does and then flat out bread also does and you can get that in light flat out light and they have four different um, flavors or whatever but they work really well and this one does too. So let's get started. I'll show you how to make it. Like I said this is very simple. I'm going to put my flat bread on the cookie sheet and I have my Himalayan salt. I have it in the salt shaker here. And all I'm going to do is put some salt on, both of them. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is take my pizza cutter. And I'm going to make the pita into squares or some kind of a shape. Now the carb or the calorie count on these are high. They're 210 calories. The flat out bread, I, I'm telling you, I just have trouble here in Canada finding them other than ordering them online and I really don't want to order them online. So I've actually called, not Mission, but the flat out, I called them and um, they suggested I did a printout off of their site, fill it up, filled it out, and I'm going to take it to our Food Basics and our Walmart and see if I can get them to bring in the light because it, those are very, very nice also. Now, what I've done, I've got these, and I'm what I want to do so that I know I have 210 calories in this one pita that I just am going to kind of keep them all flat and not overlapping or anything but I want to have room for my other one here because I don't want to do one at a time so I'm going to take this one and do the same thing with it I'm just going to have to juggle around and I don't want to use up too much time on the video so this way what I do is I put them in little wee sandwich bags individually like this half and then this half so that I know I'm eating 210 calories and I know that I'm, I've got six net carbs which is really genius I think and that way you can keep track because once you start eating these you're just going to keep eating them they're, they're very very good the mission ones are absolutely delicious I'm very happy with them I did try spritzing with um, olive oil or avocado oil and it took a little longer to bake, but honestly, I don't think it made that much difference. So you can do whichever. You can try them both. And the trick is you need to have your oven quite hot. So you put it on at 400. And with my, electrical, my electric oven, I have to keep them in there approximately 10 so I sort of keep an eye and you can tell by the feel um, as to whether or not they're crispy because they do they crisp up really really nice and they are awesome with dips I'm just going to cut these here they're awesome with dips um, with cheese nummies I'm, I'm very excited about it I never really thought about trying to bake them but um, a girlfriend of mine she's doing low carb and she had mentioned I thought oh my gosh I'm gonna have to do this okay I'm gonna arrange these and now I'm going to put them in the oven at 400 
for approximately 10 minutes, but I, I start looking at eight minutes just to make sure we're all good. So my timer went off at eight minutes, and I'm just going to take a look. I go by the feel, and you know what? My oven was on for quite a while before I put it in, so eight minutes worked perfect for me. So they've cooled off and I just have a little sandwich bag and I do this just so that I can keep track. You don't have to do this, you can throw them all into one and be happy with that. It's up to you. Listen, here, they're great, they're just great crackers. So that's all I do is I bag them up, the other ones are still in the oven and uh, we'll do a comparison with the oil the other if there's even worthwhile going out and get a spritzer and spraying them. I didn't think there was much of a difference so we'll, we'll try that and see. Okay this has been 10 minutes and this is the one that I used the oil on and I'm going to feel them and they're not done. They've, they've created, you know, made them softer or whatever so I'm going to have to just they're still kind of rubbery so I just recommend doing it without so I'm just going to put the timer on for another two minutes and we'll see what happens now I just wanted to show the ones that I spritz they were in for 12 minutes and I almost did them too long like they're definitely really crunchy and they taste good but they're overdone as far as I'm concerned and it takes longer because of the oil you put on and the taste is the same so I would just use salt and cut them up. Now I completed my video but um, I'm gonna put this in the center of it somewhere that I got thinking I like the salt to stick on the cracker a little better than what it does so I'm just wanting you to see what I'm doing and it does work because I've already baked some and I like it. So I'm putting the salt on top. I'm using Himalayan salt. Then I'm going to just move my pan over for a minute because the pan, I did try rolling it in the pan. There's not enough room. So I've just got my, my pin, um, rolling pin here and I'm just pressing the salt in and then I'll put it on my pan and I will slice it into squares and then put it in the oven and bake it. So I just wanted to share with you because I think it's a great idea. Okay, so I've just got them in the little baggies and that's how I'm going to show you them today. So this is Mission Brand. I have not seen it anywhere in Canada, but you can get them in the States, and I got these in Walmart in, in the States. And on the back, it, it's six net carbs for them, and the fiber, the carbs is 32 grams of carbs, but they have 26 grams of fiber. So I highly recommend them. They've got a great flavor. I really, really like them. And the other ones are the flat out bread light. You need to buy the light because they're, they're um, six carbs. The, cal oh, this, the mission is 210 calories per wrap and it's a big wrap. And then the flat bread or flat out bread, um, the light ones, it, they're 90 calories and they're six grams also. So I'm just going to take one of the crackers. This is the one that just has a salt on. I don't know if you can hear that crunch or not. Very good. Now, this is my other little baggie that I put in the ones that I put the um, spritzer of oil on with the salt. It took around 12 minutes because they, the moisture, um, it just took longer to bake and I actually should have taken them out a little earlier, I think, maybe 11 minutes. Great crunch. I have, it's overdone a little bit. But I would highly recommend just putting the salt on them and slice them up with a pizza cutter 
and they're great with dips, cheese, whatever. <clears throat> so if you'd like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, try this recipe and try some of my other ones. You take care. I'll see you soon. Bye now.